What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a new Warframe video coming at you with the Bala Zaw, the most versatile and overpowered dagger in the game. This dagger offers so many build variety that trivializes the game even more. So I'm coming at you with 5, 6 builds? For this weapon, I, 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 I lost count at this point. Zaws are modular melee weapons, so you can put together different parts to make a weapon of your own creation. So to build this weapon, you need the Bala Strike, the Paye Grip, and the Varjeet 2 Jai Link. All together gives you amazing attack speed, crits, and decent damage. The Bala is heavy in puncture, but with the Stinging Thorn stance, you can force a proc slash, and the stance offers even more utility. Since this is a Zaw, you can fit the Exodia Arcanes. Unfortunately, Exodia Contagion is locked behind the Plague Star event, so if you missed out, you can always buy it off other players. Also, read carefully at what these Arcanes say and do before jumping into the comment section. When modding for melee nowadays, there are the go-to mods, Condition Overload, Blood Rush, and Weeping Wounds. Especially if you want to go try hard and boost your DPS to the next level. But to be honest, there's no need to. But it's always satisfying seeing big juicy numbers. These three are the bread and butter for the try hard combo builds. Condition Overload adds up damage on itself with the more status effects on a target. Blood Rush will scale a crit chance based off your combo counter, and Weeping Wounds will build up status chance with your combo. Alright, let's start off with the main combo build that is being used in the background footage. So the build has the go to mods, Condition Overload for the scaling damage, Blood Rush for the crits, Weeping Wounds for the status chance, Reach for the range, perfect to hit multiple targets, close distances, and build up status effects on the targets, and since this is a dagger, it heavily needs the range more than anything. Organ Shatter for the critical multiplier, and the two raw elements to form a viral. Viral is the best neutral element currently. It deals a multiplied health damage with each stack you build up on the enemy, capping at 325% health damage at 10 stacks. Also, I'm using the Exodia Hunt Arcane. Slam attacks will pull in enemies and have you deal stealth multiplier damage, having your damage scale even more. I will utilize the forward and block combo from the Stinging Thorn stance to perform slam attacks and proc the arcane. And since I'm running the stance, it force a proc slash with its combos, causing me to bleed the enemies, which pairs well with Viral. You can also switch out North wind and use shocking touch to form corrosive perfect for grenier only missions as it helps strip some armor and deal bonus damage to ferrite armor all right now we move on to the non-elemental build using the primed smite mod Smite mods or any bonus damage towards a faction mod will allow you to deal two times more damage with bleeds and three times with toxin, commonly known as double and triple dipping. Since Stinging Thorn Force Proc Slash, a non-elemental slash build is viable. Similar setup, but instead of elements, I went with the Prime Smite mod and Gladiator Mites. But you can also swap out Gladiator Might for Prime Pressure Point if you want to increase the bleed damage. If you want to increase the crits to the next level, you can even slot Sack sacrificial steel and with exodia hunt these enemies are going to be taking insane multiplicative damage all at once and as i said you can double and triple dip but how about we do both the toxin and slash combo this is a remnant of what gas used to be unfortunately gas got heavily nerfed and it's completely useless now so we've settled with this combo similar to the non-elemental but instead of running the three suggested mods you swap it out with primed fever strike you can use the regular one, but the damage will be slightly lower. These smite mods are super mid-max builds for long endurance runs against certain factions, and not for regular content. Now onto the heavy attack build. Since this is a dagger, all heavy attacks from the daggers will force a proc slash, bleeding enemies to death. Heavy attack builds aren't that complicated, because with heavy attacks you want to deal initial damage without building up the status effects or combos, so no need for blood rush and weeping wounds. You mod it for raw damage and crits. I have the two sacrificial mods combined to give me raw damage and crits, corrupt charge for the initial 2x combo, 
Killing Blow for the 60% heavy attack wind up speed and 120% heavy attack damage. Gladiator Might for the crit damage and slight boost in crit chance. And in the arcane section, I'm running Exodia Brave. This will have you regen energy from heavy attack kills. Very useful on Warframe builds that run Blind Rage. Okay, here's a build for you guys. For those who like to do combos but also want to dabble a little into the heavy attack territory. And I give you the quick and heavy loadout. It's modded like the combo builds but with a few slight changes. Instead of condition overload, you run primed pressure point. Since you want to deal initial damage and instead of organ shatter, you go with amalgam organ shatter for the 30% heavy attack wind of speed and 85% critical multiplier. For the arcane, I'm running Exodia Triumph, which helps you build up combo faster, since you will be using up combo every time you heavy attack. And now for the elemental combo, I have Corrosive, with Prime Fever Strike and Focus Energy. Focus Energy gives you 60% electricity and 40% combo efficiency. Now combo efficiency will determine how much combo you will use up with every heavy attack. And to make this build work efficiently, you want to make sure you're in the Xenoric Focus Cool running the Inner Might node. This will cap your combo efficiency at 90%, so you will only use up one combo with every heavy attack. And now for the final build, and that is the Exodia Contagion build. There's two ways to mod for Contagion, the simple and the tryhard way. So the tryhard method is where you build up combo using Blood Rush in the build, just to prep yourself to perform a Contagion attack. With Contagion, you want to double jump or bullet jump, aim glide, and melee. The build is almost similar to the combo builds, but we forgo range and weeping wounds, and go for the combo counter and more crits. And no, Contagion does not work with Condition Overload, so you just want to go with raw damage, hence Prime Pressure Point. And now for the simple build, just build it for raw damage and crits, and attack speed, and if you don't have Prime Fury, I highly suggest running Quickening. And remember, the further you are, the more damage you deal with Contagion. Of course, Rivens will greatly increase the damage output for this weapon, but all these builds dominate without Rivens. And for those who are worried about keeping up your combo counter, you have Swift Momentum, an amazing aura, or just run the Naramon Focus School. And if you don't want to run either, get a Riven. Alright folks, that has been it from this video. I do hope you've learned something and enjoyed the builds. And if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe. For more Warframe content, streams, and so much more, I do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.